a season without the game's greatest, Wayne Gretzky. Well, for the Los Angeles Kings, focus on ice. Let memories be memories. Duchesne's pass in deep to Taylor to Gretzky. He scores! The New Jersey Devils. Terrari with a great record lifetime at home. 44, 24, and 8 in home games. 20, 40, and 15 on the road. Kind of inexplicable. Tonight, there you see those who are not starting. Norton and Fitzgerald injuries. Loisel and Kerbers are the coaches' decisions. And we are underway. Faceoff comes up back to Lachance. Over to Benoit Hogue. Chased in by Niedermeyer. Scott Niedermeyer and Hogue. And the touch-up will create the icing. For the New Jersey Devils, Claude Lemieux has had a bad back. Supposedly, he is ready to play. But as you see, he is one of the scratches tonight. Miles O'Connor was just recalled. Troy Millette, Alexei Kasatonov, Cmac, and Brown are coaches' decisions. Peter Stasny, just signed a week ago, is getting in playing condition for Herb Brooks's team, so he's not yet ready to play. This club's got a lot of players and some decisions to be made here within the next couple of weeks as to who they're going to have on that bench early on in the season. Great to have you with us tonight. Hope you'll settle back and enjoy ESPN's National Hockey Night. That one will go the length. Chris Terreri will have to come out to play it. Niedermeyer teamed up on defense with Scott Stevens, the Devils captain. Stefan Riche for the Devils, working on a line that has Scaldi at center. And Zelopukin intercepted flatly in. Flatly looking shot. Score! A mistake by the Devils. And it's a 1-0 lead for the New York Islanders. A bad gamble by Riche results in an Islander goal. He's just inside his blue line. Gain the blue line. You've got to pass the puck or dump it off the boards. You can't try to beat two men. It comes flatly. He's got lots of time with Terreri. He freezes him with a fake, takes it to the back end, and puts it in. That puck has to go off the boards into the neutral zone. Well, we got to tell you about Stefan Riche. He's in not a good mood and not very up right now because the word is he's going to be traded to Quebec that it's going to be Gino Cavallini and Claude Lapointe coming to the New Jersey Devils and seeing him before the game he is not a happy camper McKay tries to drop it in now whether that had anything to do with that play or not far be it for me to uh, guess that but I got a feeling his mind's not entirely on this game tonight Thomas tries to take the shot could not McKay going to the corner for it Thomas was at him shot by King save made by Terreri so the New York Islanders on the board in the first half minute of this game goal goes to flatly and it's his first of the year Benoit Hogue will pick up the assists on it giving them the one to nothing lead at the 27 second mark on the near side McKay Ooh, Chorsky got dumped by Kasparitis does this kid love to hit we saw it in the Kings game the other night we see it again here Kasparitis looks for moving bodies It'll be brought out by Driver. Bruce Driver of the Devils. The defenseman gets it up to Bobby Holik. Holik moving in. Shot blocked by Pilon. Oyanen had it. Oyanen couldn't get the shot off. Just rolled it in front of the net. And Island was there. Played out by the Islanders. Tommy Avalon, who's not been in for the Devils, is on defense. He's been out the last three games. Coach's choice. Oyanen moving in. His shot and a save made into the seats by Mark Fitzpatrick. Well, the Islanders taking it to the Devils early. Certainly had a boost on that goal and the giveaway by Riche. But Kasparitis, what a big hit he put on Chorsky. Chorsky with his head down, and boom, here he comes. He just drives through the check. He does not coast. He skates right until the point of impact. And when you get hit by that young man, you feel it. A good, clean, solid body check by Darius Kasparitis. Gotta love the way this kid plays if you like the hitting in hockey because he certainly gives it to you. He's only 20 years old, Lithuanian, making some big news on the island in New York. Okay, Krupp clears it around the net. Islanders up here. Devils haven't had a shot on goal in the first two minutes. Tommy Aveling cleared it ahead. John McLean back in. McLean on a wing with the Bobby Holy playing at center. Yarni Oyen and working on the left wing side. Tommy avalon has got it. Oyen and had it poke checked away by Scott Lachance. Breaking the other way. Marty McGinnis got it up ice. Lost it. Back into the zone. Devils Fatisov working tonight without his general defensive partner. Alexei Kasatonov. Over to John McLean. McLean shot. And that was a riser. Fitzpatrick got a piece of that with the body. Fatisov sends it back in. Tipped away by Scott Lachance. Bobby Holy couldn't control it. Taken at center. Mullen. And it'll be sent in. Islanders will change it up. Fast pace early on. Just as expected. 
These two teams knowing how important tonight and tomorrow night's game games are against one another. Moving in, John McLean. McLean leaves it. Seeger pass wide side. Todd couldn't get it. Todd slipped as he tried to reach back for the puck. It'll be the Devils holding it in. Centering pass for Todd. Intercepted and cleared up to Turgeon. Malikoff had made the initial save. McCullough brought in by Turgeon. Turgeon looking to the middle. He's out there with Volick on this line. Shot from the points deflected to the near side boards. Seeger, Zadino Seeger, Kasparitis was on him, picked up by Niedermeyer, shoved out of the zone, trying to break on it. Billy Garen. Garen's got a lead. Garen in. Garen shot. Blocked away. The defenseman had lost the stick that time. Vladimir Melikov, who was on him, had lost his stick, so Garen had a fairly easy goal. Fitzpatrick reached out, though, and touched it away. Kasparitis picks it back up. Hope checked away. Barr. Barr brings it in down the right side. Dave Barr has been out a couple of games back in for the Devils tonight. Barr leaves it in the corner. Chorsky trying to center. Tipped away from Garen. Barr gets it back to Chorsky. Back in. No nope. forehand by Chorsky. Blocked. Again, Malikoff was there. He's blocked a couple of shots already in this game as the defenseman helping his goaltender up. Kasparitis up the board. Tolga trying to get it out. Does against Danico. Teams changing up. Flatley just came on the ice. Gets the pass. Flatley dropped it in the middle. Ray Ferraro couldn't control in the corner. Pilon holds it in. Pilon shot it in. Hope tried to tip it, but it was behind him. Danico and Hogue collide. Danico takes Hogue down, and a penalty's coming up here. Delayed call going to be on the Devils. And uh, maybe more than one. We'll see when we come back. Islanders leading 1 0. Kenny Danico takes a penalty for the New Jersey Devils, and I feel this is a direct result of the hit by Kasparaitis. Danico is the enforcer of the Devils. As Hope takes him in, he wants to show the Islanders we will not be pushed around tonight. He gets too aggressive, grabs him, throws him to the ice, and the Islanders will go on a power play. It has been struggling their power play, but the last game they scored two goals, so maybe they're out of their power play doldrums. There you see the numbers on the power play, 14th of the National Hockey League for the New York Islanders. They get the first chance in this one. The New Jersey Devils penalty killing unit is ranked ninth in the league. They've given up the fourth fewest power play chances to the opposition. Only the 53rd shorthanded chance the Devils have had to work with here. See what happens with it. Islanders in control in their own end. Uwe Krupp will be working on the power play point. Three power play goals. Derek King, same for Thomas, and a couple for Pierre Turgeon on the power play. That's King who works it around the board. Stevens on the penalty killing unit. Cut it by Turgeon to Randy McKay who can't get it out. Good hold in on the far side. Krupp's got it. Krupp cutting in. His shot deflected wide. Thomas was the man who held that in on the far side for the Islanders. Turgeon this time back to the point. Islanders will get it set up. A minute 15 on the power play. Thomas shot and score! He is a double killer. Thomas, Steve Thomas gets his fifth goal of the year. A power play goal. He has now scored 14 goals and 25 points in 26 games lifetime against the Devils. Well, Pierre Turgeon looks the New Jersey defenders off. He looks to the point for the pass. He looks to the slot. He slides it down to Thomas. King is doing a good job tying the Devil defenseman up in front of the net. Thomas has a wide open lane to walk out and put it past goalie Chris Terreri. Stevens gets out a little too, too far towards the blue line and Abel said that pass to come from Turgeon and for Thomas to walk out, and it's a 2-0 game, Islanders. Steve Thomas' 12th point of the year, five of those have been goals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're one for one on the power play and take a 2-0 lead with 14.40 left to go here in the first period as they jump on the Devils early. Knocked away by Tommy Amell in the center. Marty McGinnis got it back to Berg. Bill Berg sends it in. An impressive power play. They worked it well. Riche cutting up in the middle. It's on the puck and a long shot. Save made. Covered up underneath the goaltender, Mark Fitzpatrick. It ended up in a one-on-one. -on -one. Valerie Zelopukin. A fine pass from Stefan Riche. And Fitzpatrick just stays square to Zelopukin. He makes Zelopukin make the first move on the shot. And he's able to squeeze it between his pads. He just outweights him there. Zelopukin could have taken that puck to his forehand, maybe frozen Fitzpatrick, but a good job by the Islander goaltender staying square to the shooter and making the shooter make the first move. Zelopukin is a goal scorer. He's had a couple this season, but robbed on that one. Big play by Fitzpatrick. 
The power play goal came at 5-10. Thomas's fifth goal of the year. Turgeon and Malakoff picking up the assist on it. There you see the Islanders have gotten off to fast starts in the first period. 14 to 5 advantage in the first and they've now scored the first goal in uh, 10 of the 11 games they played this season. Krupp takes it around the net. Gets the deflection in the middle. Terjean was there to cover for it though. Center ice Daniel Merwire has taken away Bobby Holik his shot. Soft one that ended up coming off the blocker. Terjean can't get it out. Fatisov holds it in. Slava Fatisov dropped it. Backhander McLean puts Patrick on the money. Danny Oyanen put the hit on along the boards. Holik held it to Abilene. Tommy Abilene's shot deflected wide. Oyanen away Krupp. Krupp pins him up. McLean hit the back of the net on the centering pass. And Terjean's got it. There's John, the 11th leading scorer in the National Hockey League coming into this game. will head to the bench. Isles change. 2-0 lead for the Islanders. 13.40 left on the clock here in the first. Bobby Holik. Holik shot. Save made by Fitzpatrick. Boyan and following. Holik. All were there, but pushed away by Garen Island. Island is doing the defensive job with Pilon. Flatley drops it to Hogue. Hogue shot. Blocked. Hogue got it back. Fatisov went down to block it. Nyland holds it in at the blue line. Hogue checked up along the boards by McLean. Dumped deeper by Ray Ferraro to Flatley. Flatley, Hogue, and Ferraro on this line. Ferraro looking to the middle. Someone cutting. Benoit Hogue was there, but he was covered. Ferraro dropped it in the corner. And Island centered it off the stick of Terreri. Holik puts the hit on flatly, then goes after the puck and does clear. A good play by Danico in front of the jersey net, waiting for Fatisov to get back into play rather than chasing Ferraro behind the net and leaving the front of the net open. Chris Terreri just held that one up. Islanders coming back. Devils have now shot the Islanders 5-3. Islanders two goals. Riche in. Riche got knocked down. Good defensive play. Malakoff again was there. Benoit Hogue. Hogue will rag it back waiting for some help. Head to Thomas. Thomas dumps it in. Bill Guerin will chase it down and they change it up. Guerin circling the net. Future star at his first goal of the regular season against Hartford in the Devils last game. Kevin Todd, the shot, deflected into the corner. But Patrick fanned on the attempted clear. Held in momentarily by Seeger. Lost it out the center. Thomas gives chase. Thomas intended for King cutting in the middle. Nita Meyer. Edermeyer dropped it to Todd. Todd cross ice for Driver. Bruce Driver. Zadino Seeger. Seeger. Bill Guerin. Guerin couldn't handle it. Bounced on him. Kasparaitis got it out. Picked up by Derek King. Leading scorer Pierre Turgeon for the Islanders. 18 points in King's second with 12. Now Thomas has tied him with 12 points with his goal tonight. Edermeyer knocks it away. Came right back to him. Edermeyer can't get it away. Devils having trouble in the zone. King held it in. Good pressure put on Thomas. Thomas looking, the chance the defenseman was cutting in on the near side. Devils try and break. Garen sends it. Both these teams will use their defensemen in the offensive flow. The weak side defenseman generally will cut in, given any opportunity. That's what Lachance was doing that last time down out to the Islanders. There is Scott Lachance, an Olympian out of Boston University. Into the middle, Islanders back. Berg, Berg looking, shot to Rary. In trouble with that one as it bounced away. Rebound, score! McGinnis does a real good job in the neutral zone, cutting into a passing lane with good speed. We pass that now, but here's the shot. Results in this shot, scoring chance. The puck's deflected. Terreri cannot control a rebound. Right out front to Mullen, who had a terrific game against the Los Angeles Kings the last game we saw, and he gets himself a goal here tonight. But that play started in the neutral zone, a great burst of speed by McGinnis, taking the pass from Berg and going to the outside boards, resulting in an Islander 3-0 lead. Not the way the Devils wanted this to start. Lachance takes it around the net. Brian Mullen gets the goal set up by the work of Marty McGinnis. There's Mullen. Mullen will flip it in. Mullen's got his third goal of the season and his sixth point. That will be an offside call. And the Islanders lead the Devils 3-0. Welcome to Hotel Views. Business. Herb Brooks could not be a happy coach right now. If not for the minute commercial, he may have taken a timeout there. He has to settle his team down and get them to attack the New York Islanders. 
Last goal, the third one, Mullins' third of the year, came at 8.50. Berg and McGinnis had the assist, so Flatley, Thomas, and Mullen all have goals for the Islanders. McKay brings it up. Randy McKay shot it, blocked into the seats. Chris Terreri, the Devils' goaltender, lifetime 5, 9, and 6 against the Islanders. This season, though, he won the first game they played, but what a tough start. But... It's tough to blame him for the three goals that have gone in. The Islanders have really just gotten great opportunities and great shooting positions. Well, the danger for the Islanders now, they've jumped out to a 3-0 lead in 10 minutes. They might think this is going to be an easy night for us. You have to remember the Devils have won two games in overtime. They can score goals. They have a good team with good offensive power. So the last thing the Islanders want to do is lay back. They have to stay on the attack, stay on the New Jersey defenseman, cause some more turnovers, some more mistakes, and build on this 3-0 lead. There's Pierre Turgeon, their leading scorer this season. I want to remind you, CFA football coming up here on ESPN tomorrow. You'll see number three, Michigan, take on Purdue, 12.30 Eastern time, 9.30 Pacific in the morning. And then the two teams tied for eight, Colorado and Nebraska go at it at four Eastern and one Pacific, followed up by West Virginia at number one, Miami, 7.30 Eastern, 4.30 Pacific. That's all tomorrow right here on ESPN. P-line clears it around the boards. Daniel Merwa checked by Chorsky. Merwa with Chorsky all over him, got it into the middle, Volek. Volek looking, penalty coming up behind the play. Looks like it's going to be on the Devils again, gloved down. And it could be a major because the stick was up in the face that time of a Daniel Marowar. Kohaski will make the call. Let's check in with Tom. All right, Gary, up in Buffalo, the Sabres with a 1-0 lead against the expansion Ottawa Senators. Wayne Presley with a pass nicely done over to the cutting Pat LaFontaine, who lifts it into the net. LaFontaine's eighth of the year. Buffalo leads it 2-0 in the first. It'll be a long season for the Ottawa Senators. What to be expected in expansion? The high sticking call will go to Barr. It's only going to be a two, though, as uh, there was not a cut on Daniel Marowa. Comes at 9:41. Both penalties here in this first period have been on the New Jersey Devils, and the Islanders, of course, scored on their first power play chance. Their second goal picked up by Thomas. Dave Farish, the assistant coach with Herb Brooks, and I'm sure they're discussing positioning of defensemen. <laughs> Has not been a pretty sight so far. I don't think he lost all that hair tonight, did he? Gary? He'll lose some more of it, I'll tell you. They'll be trick-or-treating shortly, won't they? We hope all of you have a safe Halloween. Kids going out, make sure you go with them. Terjean taking the face off. Power play here for the New York Islanders. Todd bats it around the boards, held in on the far side. Malikoff sends it down to Terjean. Devils in the box. Malikoff, the big guy working the point with Krupp. The shot blocked out deep. Seeger's got it after it was blocked by Stevens. Put those two guys together as a wall. Krupp and Malikoff who are playing the point. About 500 pounds of hockey players out there, supposedly without all the stuff on. Blocked by Zadino Seeger. Picked up by Derek King. And at 27 on this Islander power play. Stevens sends it back. Todd. Got it up into the Islander zone. Ray Krupp has to come back to get it. Islanders needed only one shot on that first power play to get that goal by Thomas. Stevens in the corner. Thomas there with him. Stevens had it. Lost it. Good poke check by King to get it away. There's an interference that they let go on Terjean and moved in on the board. Shot saved by Malikoff. Rebound. Thomas couldn't hold it. Stevens, Scott Stevens, into the middle and cleared. No, Chorsky couldn't get it by Malikoff again. Thomas. Malikoff shot, saved Terrari, and he blisters it off into the seats. First rule when killing a penalty, if you're a defenseman or a forward and you get the puck in your own zone, it has to go down hard. Flip shots generally don't make it. There was a shot there by Scott Stevens, a chance to rifle the puck down the ice. He didn't put enough on it. It was stopped at the point. And it provides another scoring opportunity for the Islanders. The puck has to go down hard. Here we see the shot and the tip, and Terreri has to come up with a big save. Al Arbor was saying this Malakoff can really shoot the puck. He's just not quite sure where it's going half the time. <laughs> but he's a youngster, and he's going to improve. And at his size, I guess you have to be a little careful of how you tell him he's missing the net. He's 6'5". 
5 220. Croup is 6'6, 235. You thought I was kidding about 500 pounds worth. Ray Ferraro, power play Islanders, 40 seconds left on it. Asperitis back to Ferraro. Ferraro has Flatley in the middle, deflected and out of the zone. He was trying to go to Flatley. Casparitis and Scott Lachance working the points in this power play. Flatley to Ferraro. Driver breaking Hogue in front. Ferraro looking for Hogue. Driver tied him up. Back Casparitis tipped wide. Benoit Hogue. Outstanding pass by Casparitis. Lachance. 17 on the power play. Casparitis tipped wide. Hogue again. Ray Ferraro's got it. Ferraro got it back behind the net. The Hogue to Ferraro. Eight on the power play. Benoit Hogue. Everybody's moved in. There's no defenseman back. Kasparitis tried to pass to the side of the net. Couldn't get it. Penalty is over. Power play is over. Islanders one for two. Devils got a chance at a three on two break. Fatisa, Barr going to the net. Barr got knocked down by Kasparitis. No call. He ran into Fitzpatrick. He's down. And the net was dislodged. The Islanders lead the Devils three nothing. Excuse me, do you know what stock options are? I wish I did. When is the weak dollar good for business? Good? I don't know. The world of finance and investing can be pretty confusing, unless you call for this, the Wall Street Journal's Video Guide to Money and Markets. It explains the markets in clear, simple English and brings them to life. This exclusive 30-minute video is free when you call for 13 weeks of the Wall Street Journal for just $37, over 20% off the newsstand price. Subscribe to the journal and get a daily view of the whole world of business and how it affects you. Information you know you should know. Call now and you'll be ready next time someone asks you, are munis always a safe investment? I'm not sure. Call toll-free 800-642-7400 for 13 weeks of the Wall Street Journal and your free video on money and markets. That's 800-642-7400. Mark Fitzpatrick with some big saves, protecting that 3-0 lead right now with 8.05 to go in the period. Well, the Devils kill off the penalty. They come out of the box at full strength. A good pass here by Seeger to Fetisov. And Kasparaitis hurries back as Batisov tries a goal mouth pass. He gets back to check Dave Barr. Fitzpatrick gets a stick down. And that eliminates the chance for the Devils. No penalty on that because Kasparaitis did not touch him going in. Barr was just trying to reach back and get the puck that was closer to his skates and fell down and went into Fitzpatrick. Barr actually just lost his footing. And this guy's having a great game again tonight. He's a pleasure to watch. He hits, he passes well, he shoots. And he seems to enjoy each and every shift of each and every game we've seen him in. You do love watching him play. He got his first goal on a Tuesday. Kasparaitis did. Devils control the draw. Send it in wide of Mark Fitzpatrick. One and two on the season. Not able to clear yet. Devils hold it in. Boy, in it. Deflected. Troop's got it. Troop will take it back in behind the net. Down to 7.38 to go here in this first period. Shots are 7-5 in favor of the Islanders who have the three to nothing lead as they jumped out early. Broken up at center out by Stevens. Over to Nita Meyer to Bobby Holik. Holik acquired from Hartford. He's done an outstanding job for the Devils in scoring this season. He's second with 12 points. Claude Lemieux, their leading scorer, not playing tonight, bothered by a bad back this past week. That one ends up on the Islanders bench. Thomas Mees. Hi, Gary. Let's go to Joe Lewis. Serena, five on three situation in favor of Mark Howell and the Red Wings. Howell takes the shot. Goes off of Rouse's skate right over to Bob Colbert, who puts it home his third of the season. Detroit leads it 1 0 in the first. Gary? They thought Probert could only fight. <laughs> he could play some hockey, as they discovered. When he's in front of the net, he's a hard man to move. Garrett Scaldi working on this faceoff against Marty McGinnis. A couple of first year players right there for the two teams. Over to Berg. Berg ships it in. Chris Terreri goes back to get it. Tommy Avalon with him, but Avalon was covered. So Terreri played it up the boards. Cleared up for Riche. Riche tipped it into the middle to Zelapukin. Zelapukin, Riche, and Scaldi on this line. Scaldi centering. Fitzpatrick way out of the net. Fell down. Zelapukin pinned up by McGinnis. Allows Fitzpatrick to get back in the net. There's a break for the Islanders. Devils try to put some heat on here and get one on the board. Zelapukin spun away from McGinnis. Valerie Zalapukin back. Tommy Avalon shot tipped high into the corner. Riche over to get it. He gets hit from behind by Gary Nyland. Laird up the air at Scaldi. Scaldi played some last season. 
first professional hockey season was last year. Again held in by Tommy Aveling. Good play to hold it. Gary Nyland cross ice. Rich Peel on up and dropped into the center ice area. Nobody can control Tommy Avalon back to get it. Ryan Mullen on him. Mullen who's got one of the three goals for the Islanders. Ken Danico up for Riche. Riche Mullen pinned it in. Avalon behind his own net. Turgeon up. Two four checkers for the Islanders. Continue to put the heat on. And the puck deflects up into the Devils bench. Well, although the Devils had good control of the puck in the Islanders zone, the Islanders did a good job of keeping them to the perimeter. They had possession, they were moving the puck, but it never really resulted in a scoring opportunity. The Islanders, with this three-goal lead, want to make sure they don't give the Devils anything free. A lazy penalty, a bad dump in, a blind pass from the corner, a little play the blue line that's broken up with players caught, allowing the Devils to rush in a three-on-two situation. The Devils, on the other hand, have to look and say, look, we have two periods plus six minutes left. We don't have to get three goals in one shift here. Let's play a disciplined, patient game. Make sure the Islanders get no more goals, and we just pick away, get one, get two, tie it up, and hopefully we'll win it in the late stages of the game. Well, the Devils have drawn another penalty. Going to the bench, Kenny Danico, he's a little upset tonight. Got a roughing call right there as he put his glove into Bill Berg's face after the whistle. 13:56. Islanders get their third power play. They've already gone one for two on the power play. Well, that doesn't help the Devils' cause at all. They want to get into an offensive flow. Killing penalties is not the way to do that. This could be a very, very big goal for the Islanders. This Islanders team has always been a huge problem for the New Jersey Devils in games played, either here or over on the island. Historically, the Islanders have always had a huge advantage, even though the Devils won the first matchup this season. So the power play underway again. Troop moves it over to King, will send it in. Terreri coming out to play it. Thomas on the power play, waiting. A mistake, shot, blocked, rebound covered by Terreri, and did he get away with one right there? Terreri tried to clear it up the middle himself and had the pass intercepted. The Devils are plain and simply having a bad period of hockey, including Chris Terreri. The puck just gets up on edge as he goes to shoot it with the snow, and his blade goes underneath. He doesn't get much on it, and the Islanders are right there, and he's got to hustle back in the net to save it to be 3-0 instead of 4-0. Derek King took the shot. It actually deflected off a defenseman. Take a look at Dave Byer in the new Devils uniforms. The green is gone, replaced by the black, black, white, and red now. For the Devils. Barr and Turgeon. Turgeon won that face off, keeping it in for the power play. Malikoff working up high. Malikoff sends it in, tipped wide. Rebound. Turgeon got it away to Thomas. Thomas back out onto the point at another Devils penalty. In front of the net, knocked down was Derek King. I think the penalty is on the Devils. Bruce Driver. King went down hard. It looks like he came down on his elbow. I wouldn't be surprised if Driver pulled or kicked the feet out from under him the way he went to the ice. I didn't see the penalty, but I did see King going down. I think the penalty's going to be on King. Let's see You're what happened. Kidding. Well, let's see. There's King. Well, there's Driver hitting King. I don't know. They well, call King the get a penalty. You're they kidding. A dive. Wow. And on sportsmanlike conduct for diving. That's a painful dive right there. Well, El Arbor's team will lose the power play chance, and there was a minute 26 on it. On sportsmanlike call at 14.30 on King, and that's the new rule this season. Specifically under on sportsmanlike is the intentional dive. Well, that's a good rule when you have players diving, trying to make the officials look bad, but in this case, I think it may have been the wrong decision. Bruce Driver gave King a pretty good shot in front of the net. Scaldi down the middle. We're now with skate four on four. Riche over to get it. Stefan Riche. Riche, the twist and the turn, and maybe a little too much of it. Nope, able to hold it in. Riche, the shot. Blocked out deep. Gasparitis. Stevens sends it along the board. Scaldi over to get it. Niedermeyer cutting to the net. Niedermeyer, Stevens, Scaldi, Riche, the 4 for the Devils.